I remember when I was a kid, I forgot how old I was, but it was like, I thought it was about five years old. And I went to this theater and I saw a movie uh, directed by Li Han Xiang, director Li Han Xiang. And uh, actually, it's, it's the same story. Uh, in Chinese name, it's the same story. Um, I was very scared because I thought it was like uh, to mix a pretty girl with very, um, you know, like a, a scary uh, image of ghost is something that really scary. And, 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 and that, when I was that, at that age, I didn't know that it was uh, it's, uh, it's coming from a, uh, a book written in the Qing Dynasty. And since then, I was very curious about this book. And I, we also, you know, we were kid, we all read about this book. And then, you know, it's like over a period of time when I graduated from school and I went to, uh, you know, work in the industry. And for a while, suddenly, one day, I pop up with the idea of uh, doing a horror movie and then said, what movie can that be? And uh, this kind of, you know, uh, memory came to back to me and said, let's, let's, uh, let's do a movie uh, adaptation from that book. So um, I was talking about, you know, maybe if we, if we, if we do a movie, if we make a movie, um, the same genre, but uh, using different kind of name, it would be quite, uh, kind of very uh, normal. But what if we use the name of the movie which actually inspired us? What would that be? So I went to ask two pe people. One, one person is, uh, is Miss uh, Mona Fong. It's the owner, she's the owner of uh, the Source Brothers Library. And another person I asked was director Li Han Xiang. <coughs> and of course we get the permission from both of them, and Li Han Xiang, director Li Han Xiang, was ki kind of very kind of surprised to to hear me that, that to, to hear that you know I was making that movie. It, it actually was not a remaking because there's a lot of changes in the story and a lot of different kind of thing going on. Um, usually, when we came up with the, with an idea, and the idea may be inspired from certain uh, sources or uh, uh, or the the idea coming from certain book. We, we start to work on the idea. And maybe, usually at the end of the day, it turned out to be quite a different story. And uh, it's always like uh, we, we, we would come up to the, uh, and, and, uh, thinking that maybe we should, uh, we, sh we, we may not to have to use the name of the novel or may not use the name of the movie. But then we, we thought that it was it's kind of respect to say that this is the, you know, the, the movie that inspired us to think of, the, the, of, think of this uh, uh, idea. So this is a thing that, uh, so that's where Chinese school story came from. But as the creativity went along, it was sort of like, uh, it, it's, it's like uh, kind of came out to a different uh, direction again. Because uh, um, then we, ha we have to think of uh, uh, who are the character in the movie. Um, so we, ha we sort of have to change Maybe we, uh, at the beginning we start off with, you know, kind of uh, the character are quite different from whatever we've seen before in other movies, with a sort of uh, Leslie, for example. Leslie is a person that we think that is a kind, like is a caught between like the past and the present. And in my impression, Leslie is, is, uh, is somehow, is sort of like a, he's a, is kind of a, uh, a person or screen stuck in, a time capsule or something. He is always like stay for uh, stay the same all the time. It's like he doesn't he doesn't give you a sense of time. It's always you know like ten years ago you you just watch this movie or you uh, you you see the movie that he 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 he, he sort of you did like in the pan time span of ten years. You might have find a difference between these ten years. He always kind of looked the same. So so we'd be interested to see him in um, costume. In uh, in previous drama, so and then we have a problem looking for the female lead because uh, uh, in my in my impression the film would have to be extreme extremely sensual and sensuous and <laughs> and, and and sexy in the Oriental you know like uh, style. So we we start to uh, we have to actually we have to uh, lock down the, uh, the the male leads first. So I went to talk to Leslie. 
I said, uh, we have this story, we have this thing, this project to, uh, to get you into doing uh, one of these lead characters. Um, so I said, okay, fine, anything you say. I said, so I keep, and they kept asking me about these things. I, I told him the story. And suddenly he realized that. He was like, it was a period movie? I said, yes. I said, oh no, then I, I wouldn't like to do it. I said, why not? It's the, I, I don't feel good putting on a wig and, uh, and, and, and wearing these uh, weird costumes. <coughs> and he told me that he was, it, was not, uh, it, it was not his style uh, doing you know, this kind of genre. So you know, after that, he sort of uh, stood up and walked out of the room. And I was, uh, I was staying there and thinking about you know, maybe he was right or something. And uh, I turned back and looked at his uh, you know, past uh, work in, 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 in costumes. It, it did, uh, I think I did a few uh, in the television and one in movies. It was, I, 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 I believe that was his uh, very bad experience about costume drama. So, so and, and then anyways, I, uh, a bit later, um, and I was talking to this art director, uh, Hai Zhongman, and um, we came up to um, and a, and a, and a design that we tried to convince him that um, that is actually is not a period drama. It's only a modern drama dressed in a certain way that it look a bit like a period drama. So like that, and then eventually he sort of uh, we resolved the problem, and he he, uh, he he sort of okay on the. Uh, uh, you know, accepting the, the, the project. I think Ching Xiu Dong is the kind of director you need to, at that period of time, I will have to answer, have to put an answer, emph emphasis on that because he was uh, not very sure about uh, about the story, I think. Um, when I, I talked to him about Chinese ghost story, it was after his movie uh, with uh, Chow Yun Fat, I think. Which movie was that? Kei Yun. Uh, Miracle. I don't know, I forgot the name, the English name, but uh, I think the Chinese name is called Kei Yun. It's actually it's a sci fi story uh, starred by uh, Chow Yun Fat and uh, one of these lead uh, female. Um, it was not very good response for a movie, so he was very. Uh, very uh, uh, sort of like uh, depressed because of uh, the, 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 the effort that he's trying in, the, in that project. So what happened that when I talked to him, I said, let's do a, a ghost story. He was quite uh, relieved because he thought that the science fiction is not for uh, the, the market. So then she so we went on doing this thing, writing, creating, and talking, discussing on the idea. And suddenly he realized that it was, again, it's a love story. He was a bit scare of the love story. He always say that, you know, the reason why uh, his previous film before Chinese Cold Story failed because of the, it was, it was the, uh, the audience was not ready for the kind of on-screen romance and love story. And it was like uh, quite contrary to my, um, my direction in that period of time. I was thinking that, you know, actually it's too much action, uh, too much, um, too much, you know, silly comedy, it's called quote unquote, in the period of time. So uh, we need a bit like uh, a, a bit like uh, a, a, a basis or sort of like a a, a, a a solid ground for our emotional, you know, um, feeling. So what happened is that uh, I would talk to, I try to convince them that actually we should shoot a love story uh, using a ghost story, you know, like a uh, packaging and. Um, Good, something good about you know his style is he's very good uh, action director, so it's all like combined together. Um, so we wrote a script and we, we start shooting it. Um, the first round, when I said first round, is like something like a, um, shooting like a, like the first version was a call. It's like the first version for a, you know like f first thirty days, we came up with the uh, look of the movie after editing and everything, and we, saw, we found out there's some, something missing in the movie. It was a loving feeling of this movie. So that's actually, 
I, I anticipate in, in the shooting and also some some of the time I was in on set on a set and uh, and so it's quite confusing you know for a while that uh, suddenly it was like uh, his directing and also I was on a set and sometimes uh, I uh, also directing uh, the, the actors and actress but uh, but he was like he was in charge of the whole thing. I was helping him out, and um, and then we came up with a second version because uh, the first version has been through, uh, like uh, we we sort of you know like we after we watch it and we said oh this is like we need some something in addition to this part and we think that you know this part we uh, is not very effective. Maybe we should go into uh, something more effective you know design. So when we went to we uh, the last. I think in the last 10 days, that was a, the most critical things that we... Uh, uh, actually, it, in the script, it was like, uh, there was an ending. But the ending, is like a scan, second ending was like, is, is more like, like in, uh, in the more uh, smaller scale. It's a smaller scale. But we actually went to the shooting, before we, we, we went to shoot it, the, the last 10 days, so uh, I said with uh, Ching Xiu Dong, I said um, maybe we should think of some more serious and uh, bigger scale things because I think the movie didn't end at the at the ending we 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 designed. I think we need a more a bigger scale ending. So what we would do? We do we didn't have set. We don't have anything. So we, I, I, so we sort of think you know came to idea that let's 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 do it creatively by not using a set not using a whole lot of special effect we uh, we maybe we can come up with some you know uh, idea creativity so actually that that's the that's the, so we, we we eventually we went on to the uh, the, the the idea of uh, going to totally like ambiguity <laughs> like this this like a space is like a in a second another dimension that is, is uh, Sim symbolize the uh, you know what we call hell or the uh, the the sort of the under under earth uh, sort of we call it the, uh, the the death you know the world of death. About Joey Wong, uh, actually we didn't cast her in the beginning uh, as the the lead female role female role in uh, Chinese girl story. The reason why because we I. That was she was very pretty. Uh, I direct her in the previous movie, and uh, she was stunning. Uh, I remember that she came up one morning with, with she, she she didn't have to call on that on that day, and she came along to visit us on a set, and she didn't put any makeup on. And she was like there, sitting, you know, standing there and watching us, you know, shooting, and and everybody was like looking at her, saying, "Wow, this, she, who she? She's you know, she's like uh, some some photograph." If model that suddenly standing in the on a set, and she didn't have any makeup on, and and I told Joey Wong that you know yeah, you don't you can you don't have to never put on any makeup on your face because that you don't need that. You know. So <clears throat> after the the movie, uh, so we went on to some other movie like uh, Better Tomorrow or you know like Picking Up Her Blues, yes, and then and then a Chinese Ghost Story. So we we has been not been calling or con in contact for a while, and uh, I was looking for the female lead, um, and and looking around, and as that role have to be sort of sexy, sensuous, and that sort of things, uh, and so one day she called me up, and said, uh, "Can I can I screen test for you?" Uh, I said. E and I came to my mind. I said, "Why had I, why am I, I? I thought of it uh, that you know she can play the role it's because she was like a very modern type of uh, looking girl." So I I call up the art director Hai Jung Man. I said, uh, "Joey Wong is uh, potentially a possibility. Can we come up with something about her?" And so um, so Hai Jung Man, the art director. <coughs> Design some costume, and so we were there in the office and, and uh, screen testing. And it's very funny because, like, she put on everything, look, you know, perfect. And then she start walking and doing things. She's like she out of place again. So I said, 
uh, you are the person in the right everything the right set right costume you're in the wrong body maybe you should do something with your walking or talking or something like that so I <clears throat> I asked her to go to uh, this uh, Chinese folk dance class to learn how to walk and and play around with the costume you know the costume is like long rope and you know very broad sleeve or something that you play around with it you know this is your your, your, your time, your lifestyle, you should, you should get used to that sort of things. Um, so, at the, and then he said, okay, let's use Joey Wong then. Let's give up, you know, looking around and Joey Wong will be the person. But I told Joey Wong that, you know, actually it's, it's quite a strange story. The lead female role was in bed all the time. I said, she make love to a lot of guys. Do you mind? Oh, she, she said, it's okay. I, I don't mind, you know. But then, during the shooting, she, after, like, we keep first version, second version, third version, and she kept asking me, how many guys I have to go to bed with this time? You know, this is like a seven person already. The, you know, the, 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 uh, is, is this, 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 you know, girl in this movie, in this story, really uh, need to go to bed with so many guys, you know? The reason why uh, singers uh, are been, have been quite a favorite uh, choice to use as the on-screen performers, uh, one of the reasons because uh, when we were kid, when we watched this Shaw's Brother movie, we always we always have this kind of thinking that you know Shaw's Brother movie, they they have a very stylized acting, and uh, when we got into this television. Uh, business uh, we work in the television we, we we start to have this idea of maybe we should have different style than what we have that compared to uh, the previous stage of our you know like our our mentor you know their work um, the second thing is that we also have this uh, weird re uh, weird kind of uh, respond to is the kind of acting in television because, you know, we work in television and we thought that, you know, in television, there's a very good act performer and also they're very stylized kind of st actors. So when we get into this movie business, uh, we try to find the third possibility. And either you're going to use, like, unknown faces uh, in the street or maybe stage performers or maybe, you know, like, you know, any the artists from other areas. So one, the artists from other area, one of the percent high potential was the singers. The reason why singers uh, always uh, happen to be choices of our, our casting, because uh, not because of their reputation. Sometimes it's the fame it may not be the considered element because they are their characteristic, their personality. They used to be more more like a, more like a different kind. They have more characters than just like a, a, a stylized actors. Because like, uh, you will see him or see her on a stage being wild, doing something really, you know, more outstanding than any other, any, you know, uh, people of the same industry. So they have the character, the personality that attract you. That's why sometimes they, they are more in a more favorable, favor, favorable position to be chosen as uh, the performers on a screen. Uh, like like me, I, I used to be very biased because I, I, I like to cast people I like more than just like, uh, for example, like um, Sam Hoy, right? For example, I, I was always, when I read the novel, uh, uh, the, uh, the Swordsman, um, and I always thought that, uh, that Sam Hoy should be the guy that played the role, uh, not because of um, Sam Hoy was have some kind of uh, uh, quality that fit in the role because I thought Sam Hoy, if he played the role, should be great fun and, and, and maybe have have great personality to blend with the character in the, the novel, and or even Lam Ching Ha, play Dong Phong Ba Bai. Something that I sort of like uh, I get got out of the the character a bit and and off track because I was thinking about, you know, 
who should be the performer or the artist who play the role. And I, you know, you know, like my picking from my memory, and I, I chose like Lam Tsinghua should be the best choice. So this, I'm pretty biased in that aspect. Leslie is a very uh, hardworking person. He's very, uh, is very uh, gentle, very hard, uh, very, uh, very nice. But uh, sometimes he's very uh, quick tempered. You know, uh, remember one time uh, <coughs> the uh, cartoon, the animation film uh, Chinese Ghost Story, was. Uh, uh, in, in, in Golden Horse, uh, uh, th uh, what's called that, the um, award things. And, um, and Nansen said, you know, uh, if the, uh, the movie get any award, would uh, the right person for the, for represent the workshop would be Leslie Jung. And I said to Nansen, I said, the problem is, he is on the list of this uh, uh, nominee for the best actress. I don't know whether he's uh, he feel comfortable enough to stay on if he knew that you know uh, it was like not uh, not not you know doing well in the in the, in the in the in the in the in the, uh, in, the in the nomination. Um, actually, that night he left before he represent uh, the uh, workshop to get a war. Um, that exactly <laughs> I predict from him. He's very direct, very uh, frank, uh, sometimes uh, to the extent very blunt uh, to tell you that he doesn't feel in a certain way and things like that. And, um, and sometimes very nervous and very, uh, very, uh, mm, very uptight about something. Like he used to be very uh, conscious of the standard of perfection, right? Maybe he, uh, the way he, he sees things, I think he's, he, 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 he need a lot of assurance of uh, people's uh, accepting the perfection degree that he uh, very, you know, like very, very high degree of perfection that he is expecting. Um, so he's an artist. This is like a like a like a very very demanding artist. Everybody was giving comments. So Leslie, you look at Leslie and Joey Wong. They look quite uh, quite different. They're like Joey Wong is tall and, 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 and look like older than Leslie. And they look like sister, you know, like elder sister and brother. And now now that's the way you look at it in the traditional way. Yeah, well, if you look at Chinese code or story, after you look at the movie, you wouldn't think about that anymore. <laughs>